Mr President, I seek leave to make a brief explanation before addressing a question without notice to the Minister for Regional Development on the topic of regional bank closures. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Mr President, in the last session of Parliament, I asked the Minister what action had been taken to avoid the closure of the Coober Bank branch. It has since been reported that Westpac and the Commonwealth Bank have paused some of their regional bank closures. However, this has not included closures in some of our South Australian regional communities. The bank branch in Coober has now been closed, given that town without, leaving that town without a bank, and another branch in Talem Bend is still stated for closure. Meanwhile, some of our big banks are reporting massive profits. The Commonwealth Bank reported a $5.15 billion cash net profit after tax for the half year ending 31 December, a 9 per cent increase on the previous year. Mr. President. The National Australia Bank announced an 18.7 per cent increase in their cash earnings for the first quarter of 2023. And in last November, Westpac released data showing that their statutory net profit was up 4 per cent to $5.69 billion for the full year 2022 compared to the full year, uh, full year of 2021. My question to the Minister, therefore, is, since the last session of Parliament, what action has she taken to ensure that no more regional towns are left without local bank branches? Industries and regional development. Uh, thank you, Mr President, and I thank the honourable uh, member for his questions. Uh, and I do know, uh, as we all do, that over many years now the larger banking organisations have taken resources out of regional areas, and quite rightly many people in those areas are um, upset. They rely on those banks and they rely on those services, and they have every right to be angry and upset. And I think when uh, large corporations take resources out of regional communities, no amount of spin can make up for that. Uh, it can't take away from the fact that it does hurt regional communities and makes life more difficult and in many, uh, in many circumstances also makes uh, business more difficult. Um, According to 2021 figures that I have, uh, I've seen quoted on, I think, the regional.com.au, uh, who take a keen interest in highlighting the plight of regional banking. Apparently, South Australia was amongst the worst impacted states in terms of regional bank closures. Uh, however, as most people are aware, these are corporate decisions that are very much independent of the government of the day. Uh, closures happened under the former Liberal state government and unfortunately they will continue to happen under future governments as long as profit is put before people by these corporates. In, in light of that, what action has the minister taken to try and keep these regional banks open? Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr President. As I mentioned, these are corporate decisions which are taken independent of the government of the day. So the Minister has done nothing. Is that what she's saying? Yeah. 